Owls are fascinating birds. They are active when it's dark, have unique feathers that allow them to fly almost completely silent, and are pretty much solitary. Some species stand out, though, or do things differently. Here are five interesting owls of North America. Ever since I saw these owls in a documentary film many years ago, I've loved them. Borrowing owls are interesting to me. Unlike most owls, they live in family groups and nest underground in places like grasslands and deserts. Mostly, they rely on holes that are already dug out by ground animals like prairie dogs and ground squirrels. There is a population that does dig out their own chambers, though. They are found in southern Florida. These adorable characters can be pretty resourceful, too, and will take advantage of human-made things like old drain pipes or culverts to nest in. Unlike with what we see with most owls, these guys spend a great deal of their time on or very near to the ground, which is where they hunt and also keep watch out for any trouble. Their stern, serious look and practically turning their head upside down is too comical. Such distinct little owls. Great horned owls are very large and very widespread too, found throughout all of North America and even throughout South America. There isn't a habitat these large birds can't make a suitable home, it seems, as they can live and nest in the deserts, rainforests, grasslands, wetlands, cities, parks, or deep in the woods of the boreal forests. Among owls, these guys have the most varied diet too. Preying on tawny rodents, scorpions, and bats, to skunks, rabbits, rats, birds, and anything in between. The saying, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Well, this owl says, don't mind if I do, as they will attack much larger raptors like ospreys, sometimes resulting in the owl being seriously injured. With a predator like this, no one is safe, it seems. They will even eat cats and small dogs. Yikes. I'm glad mine is an indoor kitty. Majestic regal owl of the boreal forest, the great gray is one of our tallest owl species. They can reach up to two and a half feet, making them larger than the great horned. This is mostly fluff though, as they are not as heavy, weighing just two and a half pounds, roughly a pound lighter. One of the most interesting things about this large bird is how they hunt. Their strikingly beautiful face has disc-shaped feathers surrounding it that work to funnel sound to its ears. This, combined with their asymmetrical ear openings, enables precise directional hearing and lets them grab hidden prey. It is so good that they can hunt just by sound alone, listening to the voles or other rodents beneath the surface of the snow and striking them with pinpoint accuracy. Incredible. One owl that I would love to see is the short-eared owl. These pretty birds of prey are very common in the United States and can be found in open areas like grasslands, marshes, and tundra, the kind of habitats they like to hunt and roost in. An odd thing about them is that while most owls do not build their own nests, these guys actually do. The female will scrape a bowl-shaped nest into the ground and line it with things such as grass and soft feathers. A fascinating thing is that if a female is forced to leave her nest by a predator, she will defecate on the eggs. The rancid smell is thought to repel predators or mask the scent of the eggs. That is a pretty good defense mechanism. Now for the snow ghost of the Arctic, the snowy owl. Breathtaking birds to see, their yellow glowing eyes and beautiful snow white plumage work very well to blend them into their surrounding snowy environment. Weighing between three to four pounds, this is the heaviest owl. These powerful birds of prey survive on mostly small mammals. An interesting thing is that every four to five years, their favorite prey, voles and lemmings, drop significantly, making it hard for them to live in the Arctic. So large numbers of snowies leave, moving southward by the hundreds and sometimes thousands, making their winter home across Canada and in many states of the lower 48. What a spectacular treat! Once or twice in a lifetime, a mega eruption occurs. Our last such event was in winter 2013-2014, with them showing up as far south as northern Florida. 
Since they move out in large numbers every four years or so, and the last good eruptive year was in the winter of 2017-2018, we may be looking at a good movement this winter season 2022-2023. So keep a watch for reports of snowy owls popping up in places they don't normally go by November or December. Owls are incredibly fascinating, and it is always a treat when I see our neighborhood great horned. Of the five owls I touched on, which one would you like to see a full video on? Comment below and share your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy birding! If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way is by liking this video or sharing it with other fellow birders. One other way is by visiting my shop at leslythebirdner.com where you can get a little something back at the same time or a gift for a friend or loved one. Thank you for the support.